As soon as I saw the TCS program, I just thought it was perfect because you got the opportunity to travel to a lot of places that most people never get to see in their lifetimes. And one place that I was especially looking forward to was the Amazon because it's something that you always read about and see pictures of, but you never actually get the chance to visit. The Tropical Conservation Semester is a study abroad program based in Ecuador in which students visit the Amazon rainforest, the highlands of Ecuador, the coast, and the world famous Galapagos Islands. It's an amazing country because you have this incredible diversity of ecosystems in a country that's just the size of Colorado. The TCS program allows you to go out and learn a bunch of ecology and then apply it right away to solve real world conservation problems. During the program, students stay with host families and also in reserves and remote research stations. I really liked living with host families. It's a really good way to get to know the culture and not just be a tourist in Ecuador, you actually learn kind of how to be an Ecuadorian. What I like about living on a reserve is that there's not a whole lot of distractions. It's just a really cool, kind of simple life that we're living in. Uh, it's a really cool place to be. During the TCS program, we spend as much time outdoors as possible, hiking different environments, learning the flora and fauna. We've had so many classes where you're in a lecture hall and you're learning about cool things, but when you get here, you get to go out into the woods and learn about the animals. The Amazon site we visit is the Tiputini Biodiversity Station. This is a world-class research institution in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. Tifutini was amazing. We spent two weeks there just getting to hike around in the forest and it was extremely humid. I was hot and wet the entire time and that's the way I like it. <laughs> the humidity was offset by just the amazing plants and animals we got to see. We try to give students hands-on practice with field techniques that are currently in use in tropical science. These techniques include GIS and GPS, water quality monitoring, mist netting to study birds, measuring vegetation structure in reforestation plots, wildlife ethology or the study of behavior, and other methods for monitoring wildlife populations. We got to do research projects there. In Tiputini we study leafcutter ants and we were trying to figure out if there's a trade-off between surface area and density with the leaves that the ants carried back. And it was just incredible to experience just perfectly untainted wilderness for two weeks in the most biodiverse place on the entire planet. That was Tipitini, it was incredible. We study marine biology in the Galapagos Islands. And there are so many cool animals that, you know, you didn't really have to go searching to find. They were just there for you. This huge school of like 20 or 25 sharks came in and we were swimming with them. It was kind of a surreal experience. We had the opportunity to spend an entire week on a boat. Every day we would be in the water snorkeling. And then at night we would cruise to a different island and wake up in another amazing place. And then after that week, we landed on the island of San Cristobal and met our host families that we'd be living with for the next two weeks. Students have a chance to do research projects in Galapagos too. Okay, we're here on San Cristobal studying sea lion behavior and comparing behavior patterns of pups versus adult females. The Galapagos are just an amazing place. I learned so much about a topic that was kind of new to me. We visit the high elevation sites uh, in the Andes, incredible Paramo ecosystems, which are like tundras. And then a little further down than that are cloud forests. You have this lush, dripping forest full of mosses and epiphytes. We have the rare opportunity to visit the semi-deciduous forests of coastal Ecuador, which are one of the most threatened ecosystems on Earth. I'm in the dry forest of Lalo right now, speaking hollow monkey turtles, and basically for five years they've been taking demography and behavioral data on the troops that are in this forest. SABA is a U.S.-based nonprofit organization. We're focused on habitat protection in Ecuador. We take students to uh, incredible tropical locations, but also are able to give them a direct experience in the kinds of ongoing conservation projects that SABA has as an organization. Well, two uh, reserves that SABA set up that we got to visit on the program was the El Pahuma Orchid Reserve and the La La Lula Dry Forest Reserve. It was really helpful going to El Pahuma and La La Lure because we got to see conservation in action and how things can actually work. Students engage in month-long internships across the country to put their skills and experiences into action. For my internship, I am on the coast of Ecuador, and while I'm here, I'm studying water quality. 
this is a great way to see how you can use research to help people improve their lives. Lauren and I are working with locals near the La La Loa Reserve to increase hand washing. Me and four other of the students were at a town called Puerto Lopez on the coast of Ecuador for an organization called Equilibrio Azul. We do sea turtle monitoring as well as um, shark monitoring at the fish market. Conservation is really about getting out there in the field, getting dirty, and that's a huge benefit of being on this program is I think you really get to see that firsthand. We got to travel to a lot of great places, but it wouldn't have been the same without the people that are on the program. They're really fun, adventurous people that I'm gonna miss so much. Thank you.